everyone, it's Kiwi from Kimbridge and welcome back to another craft with me. Today, we're gonna to be making pine cone pineapples. So go outside, if you haven't been outside in a while, go outside, find some pine cones. Big ones, small little baby ones, medium sized ones, whichever ones you can find, grab them, bring them in, and then we'll get ready to start, okay? So what you need outside of pine cones is some paint, whatever color you want. You can make pink ones, blue ones, red ones, orange ones, yellow ones. Whatever color you want, you can make it a rainbow, unicorn, mermaid, dragon theme, whatever you want. But remember, if you wanna add sparkles, you can do that too. You just have to add it when the paint is wet still, okay? Whatever you want, grab all that. You're gonna need scissors, construction paper, glue, and some sort of a workstation. So my workstation today is a paper plate. So while you're grabbing the rest of your stuff, if you maybe forgot something, I'm gonna tilt you down so you can see what we're doing today. So we're gonna add some paint. And I started painting this one and that's okay. If you get a little messy, it's okay, no big deal. I'm gonna get a little messy with you. So grab your paintbrush, grab your paint. I'm gonna do yellow because yellow reminds me of sunshine and I love the sun. And we're just gonna paint away. So you're gonna wanna paint facing down just like this and you're gonna paint away. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. If not every part of the pine cone is painted, that's okay, don't worry about it. If you wanna do different um, colors on it, you can do that too. I'm just gonna do one color. Now remember, the more paint you use, the longer it's gonna take to dry. Okay, but that's okay. You can do more than one, you can make a fan, Whatever you'd like. So now that this one is painted, I'm going to put it off to the side and let it dry. Stick my paintbrush in some water. I'm just gonna move this off to the side, okay? I got some paint on my fingers, so I'm just gonna wipe it off. So you may wanna have some paper towel handy beside you just in case. If not, pause me, run to the sink, and go wash your hands, okay? So now we're gonna make our leaves. So. Pineapple leaves are all different sizes. They're thick, they're skinny, they're tall, they're short, anything. So as you see, I've kind of done a few here. Okay, so I've started. Uh, but we're gonna cut out some more. So I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm gonna grab my construction paper. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out some more. So start with a straight line up your construction paper. You know, guess how either thick or thin you want it. You can make a really thick one and then cut it into smaller pieces if you want. You can make tiny ones and then you're gonna edge it up. So kind of like an arrow because the majority of the time that I see pineapple leaves, they're pointy. Sometimes they're round, so it doesn't matter. Whatever you make will be perfect. I'm gonna make some more because there's lots of leaves on a pineapple. So. Make a tall one. Okay. I'm gonna do one more. Let's do a medium sized one. Okay. So I have all my pieces here in front of me. Put my construction paper off to the side and now I'm gonna grab my glue okay so grab my glue and my pieces so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a piece I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the edge at the bottom okay now the cool part about pine cones is that they're kind of some of them are tight together and some of them aren't so you just kind of have to find a crevice like that and then just push it in and then it will glue there. Here also, you can curl them up like that. You can curl them out, okay? So sometimes when a pineapple is ripe, they start opening up, okay? So I'm gonna grab another one, same thing glue at the bottom 
And then we're gonna stick it in and do another spot. Thinking here. Okay, stuck it in. Just like that, we're gonna curl that one up. I'm gonna grab a skinny one. And I hope you can all see my pants through my glass table. I got palm trees on my pants. Not quite close to a pineapple, but it's close enough. So same thing. Find a hole where you think it should go and then stick it in. So it's starting to look more like a pineapple now. Okay, got a few more ones here. We may have to cut some more. Do that. Same thing, just at the bottom. Find another hole, which I see a hole right here. So I'm gonna stick it in. Oh, that one does, that spot doesn't really like me. So let's go just underneath it. Maybe not. Okay, we're gonna find a new spot. I have to add a little bit more glue. That spot was super tight together. So find a new spot, which is okay. So we're gonna do this one right in there. Stick it in, I'm gonna curl that one out. I'm gonna do another spot here. So I'm gonna do my big thick one that I have. Okay, same thing, glue on the bottom. Find a spot, stick it in, curl it out. How are we looking? Oh, look at that. There's a hole right, right there. So, a little baby one. Glue on the bottom. Stick it in. Now, if there's certain spots on the pine cone that you can't get it in, make sure you just hold it there for a couple seconds and then that way it will stick, okay? And I have one left, so let's put it on. Where do we think? Probably right, hmm. thinking right in here. Okay, put it on the bottom. Stick it in, I'm gonna make that one stick up a little bit more. And there we have it. There is our pine cone pineapple. Now, this one, has not a very flat bottom. So I may have to stick it in some Play-Doh or plasticine or clay or something like that just to make it stand. Um, or maybe even a cup, if that's all, I think that's probably all I have, it's a cup. Make it stand and there we go. We have our pineapples. I can't wait to see what you guys make. Make sure that you tag us on social media and I can't wait to see what colors and creations you come up with. Stay tuned for another one. Bye friends.